For in New Jersey, nothing stands still. Yesterday's wastelands are today's wealth. This, my friends, is no sign. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to No Side. This is episode 41. Of course, I am your host, Antonio Matos, joined with my co-host, Brandon Mendoza and Giovanni Loyanda. How are you guys doing? Hello. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. And I'm doing pretty good because I'm excited for this podcast. Um, we have our guest for this podcast. Uh, welcome back, Joshua and I, Emma. Hello. Oh hey, man. Gosh. So it's been about like two weeks since you were last on for the No Side Fight cast. And it's great to have you on the No Side podcast because then we get to really pick your brain. And this podcast is about you. So mm. I, I'm excited to get into this. Um, and let's not waste any time. So who are you? Um, what are you? Wait, what am I? Who are you a I? human? Wait, wait, wait. No, no. I feel like wait. So I'm I'm supposed to hear like myself, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. Headphones. Okay. Right. I'm not hearing that. Not at all. No. No. I mean, it's. Yeah, I'll turn it up a little bit if I, um you're this one. Just just one moment, make like, sure. You hear it all? Um. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll turn up just a little smidge more. Right. Cool. Okay. Cool. So what am I? And like, what else mm. you guys said? I said, when are you? <laughs> when, when, when are you? <laughs> yeah, what's up, guys? What, My name what is where? Josh Wiemma. I'm a filmmaker, published photographer, and a human. You know <laughs> nice. what I'm yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, sure you're I, not like one of those reptile people? No. You live think, underground and shit? Not to bring up race, but I think that's white people. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, like I just, what I do, I just, I just shoot, you know, like I just shoot mm. things and shoot mm. things, meaning as pictures and videos. <laughs> and it, well, yeah. and now your, your, uh, your work has evolved a lot over the years, you know, um, uh, for the audience, you, you had started with YouTube making vlogs and funny videos and skits. And then you had evolved into photography and then that photography had evolved into what is now your filmmaking. Um, right. What caused those transitions? You know, like what what made you say, OK, I'm done with YouTube. I want to start taking photos. And then when you got to the point with your photos, that you're like, I want to branch off and start doing more stuff. And that that filmmaking bring me through that process. Yeah. So like, hmm. Honestly, I started making videos with my cousin first. Like, she was the first one that was like, yo, like, record us. And I was like, no, man, I'm trying to play video games. Like, I'm trying to play some video games, man. And she's like, and then, like, we just made dumb skits. Like, my voice was like, oh, my God, guys, can you stop? <laughs> like, terrible. And I look back, and I'm like, dude, my voice is crazy. But, like, the videos were mad dumb. Like, we had, like, like a really big cousin right he's really young but you know jason right oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes 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 and we would just like clown him in the videos though and like we all clown each other and that's how like i really just started and then um i don't know just then i just fell into youtube i feel like my art is really just how i feel like i'm back making like photographs now like i make okay. videos but like more about like in like a bigger way though like i make sure i have a team because I, I never want to make it make that shit alone at, like a, anymore a video by yourself yeah so crazy amount dude of mm -hmm. so yeah. much work. scale like that yeah that's, it's not it's not nuts. really possible unless it's a small project mm -hmm. but yeah but anyway my, my path was like boom middle school and then i used to go on tumblr and take like like quotes and like write quotes and then use like pictures and like match it or vice or vice versa just because i don't know tumblr right mm -hmm. <laughs> and then i got off the tumblr I was just always like an internet kid, right? So like I got off Tumblr and I started like just messing around with YouTube and Antonio was like the whole process literally. I was like, yeah, like I want to make a channel and we sat on it for a year not doing shit. <laughs> and I was just working like just like literally selling bud and working selling to like my managers until I got a camera and shit. <laughs> and um, Antonio was the first person to ever make me my, my cover art, which is fucking mm. sick. Yeah, <laughs> it a, was, lot, a lot of countless nights on Skype <laughs> it was, working on shit. It was really like, looking back, it's like, what the fuck is this? But at the same time, 
it's like what the fuck is this because like throughout the whole process of, of like just growing in general it's like yeah what the fuck like we really did this shit like we didn't mm-hmm. have to do this shit mm-hmm. we did this shit and doing that brought us to where what we are right now yes literally and we forget that shit mm-hmm like, yeah, it, it does kind of pop in your mind every once in a while when you like, least expect it. Just kind of like remembering where the inspiration started. To, where it all began. Yeah, Max. like like Giovanni, you can relate as well with your streaming. Mm-hmm. You know, like streaming like, and then the fucking getting into the whole three D printing and all mm-hmm. that. Like it's been a roller coaster. Yeah, like for like for you, like what was your like what made you wake up one day and you were like, I want to stream on Twitch. Let me start getting this shit rolling. Um. What wanted, what got me into that was, um, honestly, I was the kid that was always like on YouTube and Twitch, just uh, watching other people play games. I was like, I want to do that. Like, mm. other people can do it. I could do it. And then, um, eventually, uh, after doing it for some time, I started off with like, I think I had the PlayStation, and I believe I had my phone next to me so I could read the chat. Mm-hmm. And that was like the very beginning of it and then just moving forward upgrading slowly over time it, it did get paid no yeah. just playing video games and chilling it was pretty dope so it's like you know yeah and, and then having that capability of building yourself a mini community that, you know, yeah i was just gonna say bro you. that's not just that's called networking and yeah, building man. a fan like, yeah essentially a fan base like a family type shit too yeah, you know what i'm saying a small community Fucking cult. And- <laughs> you still have a community yeah. as well yeah, yeah like, still there. i did stop streaming for a while because i had to to focus on other things mm-hmm. uh, for the time and then uh, during quarantine got into uh warhammer uh like heavy and then that led me into the whole little like miniature tabletop game and stuff like that and then um the whole 3d printing side of it mm-hmm. because it was a lot cheaper to print models than buy the store brand right so that just led to the business. And then I think Brandon was the one actually that was like, you know, if you're going to buy, put all this money into like those printers and whatnot, because this was when I was getting the second one. Mm-hmm. He was like, you know, just do something with it. Yeah. Then, you, you've been doing <laughs> yeah. something. Like that. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I it's did. been what, like two years? A year? Uh, it'll be a year at like August. So oh, nice. It's coming up. Yeah, it is approaching. Yeah, as well as the one year of No Side. Yeah, uh, May twenty eighth is our one year, and we'll be wow. having a, a anniversary podcast for that. That's crazy. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy how <laughs> fast time has gone. You know, we're only on episode forty, and it feels like we've only been. Do- it, it's a weird mixture of like sometimes it feels like we've only been doing this for like a couple weeks, and then at uh, the same time it feels like we've been doing this forever yeah like just being on 40 it feels like 400 almost that. you know but then at the same time, time it's uh, yeah time flies but also like you're putting in so much work mm-hmm. that i got bills for somebody who didn't know what i don't know <laughs> i'm yeah i'm good i'm good nah, nah, yeah, so, uh, so what were you saying yeah, yeah. like you just put in so much work where like it just feels like it's long as hell You're like yo i've been doing this forever mm-hmm. what the heck and then like you peep the time frame you're like wait what mm-hmm. only two years or only a year wait and i did all this shit and yo i'm like, lit <laughs> like, 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 oh. like you said just like that yeah, yeah. And a year goes by and but it's not bad though because if you look back at the effort you did it's a lot you know what I'm saying like yeah. you look back like yo I did all that shit though yeah like to think we're only approaching a year for no side and like to look back at everything we've already done the amount That's of changes some, like, funny and improvements episodes. we've done like yeah, it's, it, it's crazy yeah. it's insane That's... to see how much work and effort we've put into and into and this not only that but just to see like the rewards and the benefits start coming in afterwards mm-hmm. it's like it's it's a very re- rewarding and like gratifying like feeling mm-hmm. you know? and i'm and i'm happy we're touching people out there in podcast land mm-hmm. i'm happy people right. listen uh mainly in the united states but we have okay. a couple we i think we looked out at this as like a podcast or two uh but yeah we have like four other countries i think germany nice. is one of them what happened mm-hmm. guitar Oh yeah, Qatar. Mm-hmm. Qatar is Qatar. one of them. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll look at it really quick. Why not? That's funny. 
That's crazy. Yeah, I can Shout look. out Qatar. Yeah. Shout out Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like a 0.1% too, so that one person out there, fucking thank you. Yeah, you're telling you. I want to know that. Like, I want to know how that person in Qatar stumbled across No Side, you know? Like, what Like, what was he doing? Facts. Uh, so, yeah, United States is our, of course, primary one. Uh, Germany, Uruguay, Brazil, and Qatar. So, they're low-key. Nah. You said Brazil? Yeah. Nice. In Uruguay. I don't even know where Uruguay is. Yeah. I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> I'm pretty <What>? sure it's. <laughs> you guys are wild. Oh, man. South America. <laughs> Uh, one one funny thing I will mention since we're looking at no side analytics, one one thing I would joke about is the fact that we had a, a higher female audience, which was, to be honest, very shocking to me that there was more females listening. Hey, maybe they but uh, yeah. but now there's more males listening. Now. Okay. Oh, what did we to- say to fuck it? <laughs> <up>? <laughs> it may have been episode forty. But yeah, we'll talk no. about it. <laughs> but yeah, it's at forty eight percent for males and then forty six percent for the themes. Yeah. Episode forty. Yeah. I haven't got I what haven't got the binge in yet. 40. What happened to episode forty? I, don't going know, on? I forgot. Shit popped off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep it simple. Yeah. Rip. Nothing too hey, crazy hey like guys, it. Easter egg. Yeah. yeah. If you hear about episode forty. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a sip. Sips rum and coke. Some <laughs> <laughs> like, so <laughs> hmm. Episode 40. Hmm. All evil like. <laughs> Cancel them. <laughs> <laughs> What'd they say? <laughs> we said, dude, we were straight up. We're like, dude, if you're going to try to cancel us, come full force. Like, Clout. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> like that ass like who like you gotta hate someone a lot to just want them not exist like not get money not just yeah just mm-hmm. not just like be mm-hmm. <laughs> all the internet like, publicity exactly mm-hmm. you know it, it's funny like when you're in the moment like on the podcast you think the podcast is going a certain way until you listen back to it and you're oh, like yeah. oh wow holy shit like i actually didn't sound like a piece of garbage the, the whole time mm-hmm. um uh and Listening back to episode 40, like, honestly, it wasn't that bad. It's How just like, it's that? like, there's just a segment. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I don't know either, man. <laughs> but I'm here for it. I'm just here for the gang right now. Yeah. It's running a bit low key. Yeah. We, we were know. just being real. That was it. Facts. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. And just, I feel like the only reason, that's why we're joking that. People are gonna yeah. try to cancel us for it, is because people don't like real nowadays. Um, speaking of real, I was at a fashion show today. At, oh yeah, speak about that. It yeah. was cool. It was cool, and I'm saying speaking of real because the designer Steph, he actually dropped me off. Steph. Oh, cool. Not Steph. His name's Phil. Steph is our oh. boy. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. But Steph is mad. He's like a producer, <laughs> like art, art director, model, stuff like that. Wow. But yeah, he's mad cool. He's but anyway, um, Phil, Phil like clothing brand is just so. It's not even brand. I I, I would say, but it's just so so cool. But like the fashion show was like interesting. It was um interesting because I just don't fit into that shit. So I was standing around listening to um Paris Texas stamped the year whatever year this is. I said Paris Texas. You guys, would check them out. Fire. Paris Texas. Paris Texas. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sitting there just bumping them. And I never felt so lonely in a room full of people. I was like, damn. Felt like the an heck? outsider. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, yeah. Your yeah. Culture, right? yeah, yeah. But I was there for it, though. It, it was cool. But, like, um, the show was just interesting. Were you <laughs> there for, like, photography? Or yeah, or? yeah, yeah. I, I was shooting. I took, like, a couple film photos of there, too. I was like, yeah, when will I get a chance to shoot film? I can say I shot film that fat. I don't fuck it. Let me do it. I walked back. I'm like, let me get the film camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But how how many different ways do you shoot in? Shoot in like what do yeah, you mean? like like how you say you did do you do film and like uh, what kind of uh, film do you use? Oh, what, kind what of different film? ways do you shoot in? You know. Oh, like okay, uh, like 
a different style of photographies and then also like what film socks i use so yeah, yeah what film socks i use i use whatever the scene needs you know what i'm saying like i don't like i'm not like oh i only shoot black and white mm. oh I, I only shoot this color style oh because these colors are better than like no who gives a fuck just shoot <laughs> yeah. just shoot your your subject you know so like i kind of just like think of like a story in my head and i'm like okay these colors okay this this person under skin tones or this and this person whole skin tones that and then i'm like all right i want like i want this person to be like doing this movement and like stuff like that right and then once i'm doing that i'm kind of like all right cool now i just pick whatever fuck i feel like it (laughs) and that's really it no i'm joking but really um i kind of just think of think of like a movie scene and i try and make that like a still and that's like my photos basically it's more like conceptual photography than fashion so i'm basically showing like i want you guys like look at my photos and be like yo is this a still from a movie like no it's actually a picture and you're like what the fuck and that's how i'm coming off so like that's why i kind of stepped away from photography i mean from like videos because i want people to kind of like because like like photos are so much easier in the sense of like there's like two or three people on set Mm-hmm. And you guys just talking like it's like kind of like this literally, but like we're just taking a picture of like a fucking plant or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All, all could just be smoking, just taking a photo. So like, but on set, I'm like, I know like we're getting off topic, but f it. But like on <laughs> set with like um, with like on video, there's just so much people, and he's like, damn, bro, all these opinions and shit. And like I don't have time for this. Well, like, <laughs> like, a lot of yeah, dude, yeah. so many egos. And I grew to learn about that shit. And now I'm just quiet. I'm just like, I'm not going to say anything. F it. <laughs> just let it go. But, yeah. But, um, and then, honestly, like, what film stocks I really like using, I do like using black and white a lot when I'm shooting, like, like, like my own life, honestly. Like, I, I tend to just always just put in black and white when I'm shooting just life things. Just, like, this right here would be in black and white if I had black and white, but I don't right now. But, yeah. And then if I'm making, like, like a scene, I just try to f- focus on, like, the feel. That's how I pick my film stocks. But um, in a sense of, like, what kind of style of photography I shoot, I shoot whatever I feel like it, honestly, in the time being. I have landscapes. I have portraits. I have conceptual photography. I have done product. Do I show people that shit? No, because you know why? That's just business, like thanks for the check <laughs> Literally, like i don't really care about that stuff like i have it on my website like i could do that if you want me to i could do all these things but like if you want me to shoot your product can i think of like a creative idea for you can i make a story behind your product too and if they don't then okay i just shoot the product bags but like yeah i shoot like like a bunch of different type of photography things and um my favorite one is conceptual photography it makes people think literally like yeah. like yeah yeah that's cool without even talking like i want someone to, like look at the like the picture and be like what the fuck like what the hell is going on <laughs> mm. yeah yeah because then when you when you have a photo that makes people think you know everyone's gonna have their own conceptions and ideas and you don't say shit you just let people talk and just feel like the way they the way like they're feeling yeah. literally yeah it's pretty cool because also like people could find themselves through work without even knowing they could, they, could, they could just say stuff mm. and figure out shit like, oh, wow, the hell? <laughs> like, yeah, maybe on, like, whatever topic they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, man. One day I should take a photo of you guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah, man. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a new side photo shoot. Yeah, right. Let's do it. I, yeah. I also, like, I have film right now. I was, in, I, was, I was in to get a picture on some casual shit. But, yeah, like, one day. Definitely should. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, if you do take a photo, please send it. We'll post it on course, the Instagram. Of course, man. On the Instagrams. By the yeah, way, guys, man. my Instagram is frames by underscore Joshua Yama. It's like, I messed that up. Let's scratch that out. Frames by Psych. Joshua. <laughs> is <laughs> underscore by. You want to know something funny? It, this goes back to the uh, fight cast. Yeah. Uh, so, 
of course, you and uh, our, our other friend Jordan Duggan was on the podcast, Jordan. and he he plugged himself right. He gave his Instagram yeah. as Zayko.kb, and yeah. then the day after, he changed it, changed his oh, name. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. I don't get that. I haven't asked him about it. I just like woke up the next day, and I'm like, Hello. dude, right. what? Okay. <laughs> It, but I at least put his new one in the YouTube description. Cool. But yeah. And yeah, man, Frames by underscore Joshua is here to stay forever. I changed it from Nemo McLovin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's, I, that was an iconic name, man. Yeah, that's, that's I, like one, thank you. Honest. I should have st- stuck along with that shit. You, but, <laughs> you know, Frames by Joshua just sounds like, I don't know. Sounds professional. Yeah. Yeah, it Literally, does sound professional. Yeah. yeah. It's chill. And it's more straightforward, I guess. Literally. Yeah. That's like Much more straightforward than no side, but... Um, Where? Yeah. I mean, it's literally just my name. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I got frames, and buy me. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Yeah, I'm thinking about making, like, a... I, I forgot, like, the frame size, but I'm thinking about making, like, basically, like... So, like, I'm 5'11", so I'm thinking about making a print the size, like, tall as my waist, basically, and it's, like, a huge portrait. Yeah. It's gonna be a person wearing a ski mask, and there's gonna be hands like coming out their heads, and it's gonna be like black and white picture. Oh, cool! I'm, nice. I'm being very vague right now, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just that was inspiration gonna... that made you want to do this project. Or nah, man, just just kind of popped in, popped in my head. head. Yeah, nice. sometimes I say like, yeah, like it's not even me; it's like God. And like someone's like, do you believe in like all that Christian? I'm like, not really, but as God, as in just like I don't know, just like a feeling mm-hmm. that I have. Yeah, like something. Yeah, just yeah. you along. Like, do you guys ever think, like, yo, how the fuck did I learn how to edit? Yeah. Like, I just did it. And I just wanted to do it. And I just got good at it naturally. <laughs> so I'm just like, that's just how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, it's just random thoughts in my head. Or, like, theory-based conversations, as you guys love doing. Mm-hmm. Like, have you ever had, like, a crazy conversation and then, like, you start thinking about, like, scenes or, like, or, like comedy, like, shows out of it? That's how, like, I think about it, but in photos. Like, like you think of a certain situation that you're in as if it was a movie yeah. or something or yeah. in a comedy or yeah. something. That's Yeah, I, I, I tend to get like that, especially like, if I'm kind of in a different level, like a different plane of the universe. Dude, I like I see like like from third person sometimes and I hate that shit. I'm like, damn, is this is this psychosis, guys? <laughs> <laughs> but like it's just like I feel like it's just like if you're always thinking about like how you sound or like what's around you that's like, just what's gonna happen and I but I feel like that's a, a good way to kind of live is to to be able to step out of yourself and look right. at everything in a third person point of view right. because it keeps yourself in check and keeps your surroundings in check that's why I do it I try to kind of come out of myself and look at it from different perspectives and things. That's Mm -hmm. why I'm never very like solid on like an opinion I have, you know, like I like I'm able to be swayed. Obviously, I have certain things that I'm passionate about and I have my beliefs on that. But most of the time, you know, like one day I can think something in a certain way and then a month later I could it can change. Dude, people, some, some people hate that shit, man. Like, some people are like, what? I'm like, dude, like, scenario-based things. Like, I'm not going to be always just like, no, nah, this is this and that's that. Like, I'm not black and white. Yeah. It's good to keep an open mind. Mm-hmm. You have to. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you never know. Because if you don't, you're never going to really progress. And you're never going to grow. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, Brandon. Yeah. How's that? How's that cube? Uh, oh, you uh, reminded him. <laughs> <laughs> I got the first two layers going in the white. I am, peep. This last layer is fucked up because the centers, I'm trying to flip them. Because you see, when it, well, obviously, the yellow is supposed to go on top. Why? But even if it goes on top, the red is going to be here. The blue is going to be here. And no matter which way it Actually, yeah, you just gotta flip them over. How 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 long have you been doing that? Like a couple since, weeks, a couple days. Since episode thirty nine that night, right? You got the Rubik's mm-hmm. cube that night. I think so. Right. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. Like every day type shit, or no, like, not even like, a, like, like an like hour, a couple days. Oh, right. Yeah. So like, I'll take 
a, a break a day or two. Like, I just right. want to touch it. And then I just start fucking with it. And if I get stuck, I'll look at a YouTube video. But then, like, I could do this. What You know, how I just did. I could do this. No problem. Without, right. without no video. It took me, like, 10 minutes to do this. Remember you, you just scrambled it? Mm-hmm. He's like a lot done already. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about Will Smith and a, and a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> or like logic with the Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube. Jesus Christ, can't pronounce the fucking thing. But like, there's a whole rap video of him like like freestyling and like... Doing the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. yeah really? That. His yeah, brain's crazy, man. Rapping. That dude's alien. Oh, Logic does? Logic, oh, yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. He's like, Rubik's Cube. Psh, and he was freestyling, shit. I believe. Oh, wow. Crazy art. Crazy. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Go check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. It's a vibe. It's a whole vibe. Yeah. I, I would I would put it up ah. and check it out now, but I, I would assume copyright. Definitely. Yeah. Dude, can you guys play music from Spotify on here or not? No. Really. Yeah. It's very, wow. Very iffy. So far, we've been good with what we've been viewing. Like, Spotify or YouTube hasn't been like, hey, fuck you. Mm. I mean, YouTube's been like, fuck you twice, yeah. but like, it was, it was minor, minor things. Um, one weird thing, but that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, it's you got to be very careful with what we play. Like the fight cast, we obviously couldn't play the audio because fucking Dana White would like come knocking on our door. <laughs> Imagine, put me on. <laughs> 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 I was like a flick, bro. <laughs> Remember, we got flagged because of some video, uh, the Alex Jones video. Yeah, the Bohemian Grove. That's the weird thing that happened, and it was. We got flagged not because of the video, but because of one of the weird like songs, in songs the like of religious the video. cult songs that were playing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and we got flagged for that, and I was kind of uh, kind of shocked. I was I was like, damn, they heard us talking about it. We we're putting them on blast. They were like, Alex Jones was the last one. Everyone forgot about it since then. But no, we haven't forgot about it. Mm-mm. So we're trying to make people forget. Yeah, they're gonna try to like Men in Black us, you know. Yeah. Fucking head. <laughs> that's what that was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what that was. Yeah. Oh, Make them forget everything. Really <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah, dude, it's a blast having you on. It's cool to like fight, like. I like it's different for me because the fight cast is kind of its own thing. So to have you on yeah, the bro, those on podcast, yeah, the yeah. Cast. Come, do you watch UFC like that? Yes or no? Just but I just started. Like I used to watch with my my grandpa all the time, like all the time for no fucking reason. We just watch it, hmm. and then just recently, like when I've been out in like North Dakota, but a little bit before that too, I've been watching it. Yeah, so like a month or two. Do you know the the fighters by names and shit? No, not yet. Only like a few. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a few like, that like I really like. Uh, yeah, like I know, mm-hmm. but like everyone, nah. It's like Pokemon cards, bro. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that because the I think I episode thirty nine I made a comment like that. It's I was really? like, it's like building think, a Pokédex. No, like, I, yeah. no, probably that's where I got it from. Honestly, yeah. I think oh, I did. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's funny yeah. as shit. Ah. Well, yeah. Welcome, my guys. But, Charger? No? Yeah. <laughs> when we were on the fight cast, Jordan was asking me questions about fighters and shit, and I felt bad because I didn't know mm-hmm. anything about that shit. Yeah, it'd be like that, bro. I mean, hey. I got to get my UFC game up. Do it. Dude, yeah. have you played, like, the game, though? No. Nah, yeah. I, it's so I, difficult, I, I, bro. Playing. So many yeah. combos. I'm not going to remember that shit. Yeah. Good, bro. Maybe when I when I was younger, probably I'm like yeah. yeah, no, not even I couldn't even play then. Like in high school, I was like, ah, damn, My yeah, fingers I, cramping up. Yeah, I fl- I flip flop between the UFC and Mortal fingers. Kombat. That's how stiff they get. Wait, what? I said I I swap between Mortal Kombat and UFC a lot. Mm. Like when I get into my fighting game modes, Where? like. Yeah, like I'll play them for like yeah. a week or two. Yeah. I don't even play games anymore. I wish I played a lot more games, but I don't. Brandon, did you yeah. drop your cube? I did. Oh, well, it's gone I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. Ash is going to take it away at some point. 
It's in the abyss. The abyss. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it fell to the shadow realm. That <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Just, why is it on the floor? It fell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad. Random picture of a Rubik's Cube on the floor. So how how was your old... Because I've asked Jordan, I've asked these guys, how was your overall experience with the fight cast? My PR team tells me to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so the fight cast was a great, a great um, thing, you know. I just sat back, not playing. Um, <laughs> it it was cool, man. There's nothing wrong with it, you know. It was like Jordan's little TV show, but not playing. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, no, I fi- I figured he'd be shining a lot more because of it, of course, being UFC and oh, just Jordan, just being Jordan. Yeah. He's like he that. He's really bro. passionate. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, bro. that's. I was excited to see what he was gonna say about a lot of these fights. Yeah, man. Crazy. I'm, I'm excited to have him on here to talk to him about shit other than UFC. You yeah, know I mean? yeah, it's just yeah. bullshit with him. Yeah. Dude, that dude is like, he has so much energy. Yeah, and you know, it, it, since you're here, I guess we could just say it. Jordan's going to be coming on to the podcast um, right. in the coming weeks. Um, yeah, like we're, two weeks, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 That's lit. Yeah, I'm starting to have guests on more. Yeah, fire. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I've been saying this. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. This is what we've been waiting for. Episode one. Me, it started with me and Brandon episode one saying, like, hey, we're going to have guests on soon. And like, right. just just wait. And then a year it. later. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, literally a year literally. later, we finally got it rolling. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty exciting to see where we've come. I mean, we said we, we, we've been doing what we said we've been doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Almost consistent podcast. Uh, we did the gaming shit. Yeah, yeah. We've now pretty we've we've guests. been executing everything we've yeah. been setting out to do, and uh, we have a lot planned for this next month coming up. Uh, real lot, question, a lot of real stuff, question. Though. Podcast. Yeah, go ahead. Do you guys have a TikTok? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we do. But That's the one thing we've I'm been slacking on, on is social media in general. Yeah. Instagram is our main hub, but I want to branch out and start doing more Dude, TikTok stuff. I'm sorry, uh, but Instagram is low key the new Facebook, and I'm on there, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, no, I, mean, I can't, I can't go on. Yeah. yeah, I can't go on TikTok. I just won't do it. I have like one video, but it's just so draining, bro. Mm-hmm. People already drain me. I can't go on TikTok. That I, energy on there is crazy. Yeah. I, I've just crafted my TikTok into this fucking cesspool of scum. And, like, Word. all the, the I crazy wish I political shit's just gone. <laughs> I just have, like, funny ha-has. That's it. It's Word. like crazy shit that you show me. <laughs> Yeah, we I've shown some TikTok stuff when I used when we were still doing our like kind of video of the week at we, the beginning of the podcast. I haven't done that. Yeah, in a I was about to say we haven't done the talk side in a minute. Mm, yeah, we'll bring that segment back for. Should we? Yeah, I think so. I had fun with it. Uh, that's talk good. Side. I didn't. I didn't know if uh, people were enjoying it. That was that much. when like you guys played I games and just talk? Huh? Mm-hmm. Was that when like you guys played games and talk? Or no? Uh, no. This was we were doing this pretty early on when we became oh. the Wizards and those. That's like when we first moved in, actually. Yeah, we were doing it at, like when we were uh, at Jovani, like yeah. we were recording at Jovani. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. yeah, it was just like more, it was like poor editing because yeah. I was still like working on a fossil a laptop and shit. Yeah, when we were mobile. Yeah, when we were mobile. That's great. That's the funny thing about the podcast is at a point we were mobile, like we were going from house to house, mm-hmm. like between recording. the three of us, depending on yeah. what schedule it was. That's fine. Man. Middle of the summer with no oh, AC. Man. Because you just hear it in the back. Attic. like. Yeah, we would forget to turn the AC off sometimes because it was so hot and it just felt nice. And then we would get like 10, 12 minutes into the podcast. But fuck. Oh, yeah, we left that on. That is sick. That's yeah. sick. And then, Visually, just thinking about that shit, it sounds like, fucking dope. By the, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, by the like, end of those podcasts, film. we were all dripping sweat. Like, visibly uh, all dripping and sweat. And we go outside in the backyard and we just burn. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thank yeah, you for sharing as soon that. As you step outside in that breeze. <laughs> Whew. Whole new man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spread open the legs a little bit just let that breeze Dude, hit so and, oh. your intro like that video that i made for you when you brought this chair like no, i mean or this like table, table. Yeah. yeah this is like this is like the mobile table 
that's now stable. He bars. Wow. <laughs> stable table, bro. Dude, wow. <laughs> stable table. Dude, that's... That some bars. Yeah. That's crazy. Bars by Joshua Diamo on April 24th uh, on the No Side Podcast. You heard it here. Exclusive. Exclusive bars. Time stamped. He started his rapping career and retired (laughs) in this same fucking podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Dropped a single. Deuce, deuce, like Gautier when he dropped Mm -hmm. somebody I used to know. (laughs) Sorry. He had a whole, like, album, actually. Yeah, but that was the only, the only thing he was ever really, known yeah, for. Like, yeah, name another yeah. GoTA song right now. You know, I try to look back at his album recently, and I can't. I <laughs> can't. No, there's just one song. No. <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah. Shit. Right. And that, I think she was, uh, I think she was the only, like, feature on the whole album. I think so. That girl that was on look that song. Up. Yeah. Look it up, just so, like, we're not. Give me false information. <laughs> and that's just <laughs> like, damn, I'm sorry. You can Google. Go TA. You know, Google yourself, man. Dude, I used to bump this song like all the fucking time. Yeah, man. Sad boy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, making mirrors. Can I see? Do you have Spotify on your uh, Okay, so yeah, Making Mirrors, somebody that I used to know, Smoke and Mirrors, In Your Light, Don't Worry, Will Be Water. Who cares about the names? Me. Is there any features on there? Like like anyone else? Yeah, no, it her? just seems just like, uh, her. just this yeah. long. What's her name again? No, oh, Kimbra. Shorty said, I'm getting that bag. <laughs> 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 this dude, yeah, like, what the heck? <laughs> it must have been really fun doing that music. Dude, video. the whole artist, like, the whole, like, yeah. vi- like visual goes crazy. Honestly, like, like I do want to just click on this. I'm not going to play the song, really. I just want to, like, look at it a little bit since we're talking about Wait, it. Wait, so if we hear it, they hear it, too? Yeah. That's I could crazy. actually, I could actually, hold on, I could play it. Wait. Nah, I don't do that. No, I can edit it out. I, it's fine. It's fine. Just so I would like us to hear it since we're talking about it. Sorry. I was just being a high guy. I think we have 10 seconds before they copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Stop. Talk again. <laughs> I pause it. Every, like every 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's 2011. And it's 2022 right now. God. This video feels feels trippy and it's just his face yeah. in a white background. Yeah, like the trippy part, like the trippy aspect hasn't even fucking started. Yeah. That just kind of makes you feel uncomfortable because it's like he's looking at you. Yeah. It's basically shirtless. Just staring at you. Yeah. For all we know, he's butt ass naked. Right? Yes. Yeah, like, butt ass naked, staring at you. Direct eye and contact. Like, each shot gets farther away. He just and like, ah, <laughs> gets man. uncomfortably far away towards the end. You're like, no, no, no. This is like, yeah, we have no budget. <laughs> what can you make? We have a white they backdrop and Crayola markers. What do we do? This in his garage. <laughs> possible a fucking green screen that's all that's all you really need <laughs> sometimes man. yeah it's been butt ass naked staring at us <laughs> <laughs> can we go back real quick wow. she didn't have to cut me off man come on <laughs> damn go back real quick before like, the beat drops look at his, look at his face <laughs> my boy is ready <laughs> Yeah, you know this era of music was very good. Never and this era of out. music is just dead. Like this type Whoa, of music, two thousand eleven. No, bro, get out of here! Oh, this type of music, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, that two, yeah. that mid to the two thousand tens. You know, like yeah, from two thousand ten to two thousand fifteen. Like we don't have that kind of music anymore. Yeah, no. And what I go well, like when I say that I'm kind of going based off of like what I can imagine getting into it into the car and hearing on the radio. Oh my god, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this video probably took so long to shoot. Whoa, there's a second person. <laughs> I didn't see. Whoa. 
Dude, these bars will go crazy though if really you just listen to it. It's like, damn. This is shit that people talk about till till his day. <laughs> she moved out of frame so you can see her now. She fucked up her camera. <laughs> she doesn't blend in anymore. She's out of place. Who, 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 whose idea was this? For, whose idea was this? You know, I mean, for like the Barack music, Obama. for this video, like why, why they were like, all right, we're going to paint ourselves, but also have lines. Yeah, because I, I do wonder what like the real, like true artistic meaning is behind this. Dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Wait, yeah I, I agree with you. I do wonder what the thought process was. What is the thought process? Pause it. <laughs> Dude, yeah. listen to the lyrics. You guys went through breakups, right? That was, yeah. All right, you said that she was what? Huh. She was like, like kind of like hidden, right? And mm-hmm. then she came out, right? Yeah. She said like, I, I forgot like what bar she said, but she like, you know, someone that you... you that you like used to know right so she came out like kind of like wait no ah what's the part she said fuck i forgot but basically like she steps out and like yo like i've been like playing this like this thing that you kind of thought i i i was but like i'm over you i'm over this whole shit Mm -hmm. then he's like but you didn't have to stoop so low you didn't have you didn't have to like cut me off Mm -hmm. and like leave me (laughs) <laughs> like it in was the all dark, because he was hung up on somebody from the past. Exactly. And then she started cutting him into pieces. You want to it for an hour, right there? Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> Who would do that, Dad? Wait, are you serious? Yeah, yeah you yeah, see, it's right there. Uh, yeah. One hour that I used to know. One, 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 one point six million. Who likes this song six so hours. much? That's one crazy. million people yeah. like this song so 1. much. 1.6 million people to be a Almost, brand. almost remember, 2 million. I remember in, in high school, there was a bunch of people in the library yeah. that um, on like five different computers, they put on LeBron James, <laughs> like the 10 hour version of it. James, and then they would put the computer James. to like, like they would turn off the monitor so you couldn't tell uh, exactly which computer oh, wow. was coming yeah. from. I remember those type of days. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> and going to the computer <laughs> lab and just causing yeah. fucking havoc. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Okay, become a menace. Become, menace to become ungovernable. <laughs> Dude, I always try to do some like revolting shit. Is that the word I'm using? I'm trying to use right. Fuck. I guess the uh, definitely not the word I'm using. Rebellious. Is like, rebellious. Yeah. Mm, oh. Rebellious. Go, no, Brandon. Revolting is like disgusting. Yes. Like, yes. That's mm. what. I th- yeah. Yeah. You thinking. know what I mean? That's what I felt. Yeah. Definitely not in school, guys. <laughs> but no. But like, so like. Middle school, right? The teacher's like, oh, everyone's going to get detention. I was like, okay. We're all going to just want chill here together? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, guys, fuck it. Everyone's like, no. I'm like, what do you mean? Just fuck it. No. I'm like, nah, fuck it. Yeah. Josh, detention. Damn. What, guys not going to do it? <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. I guess just chill here alone. Because, like, it'd be the most dumbest thing. Like, yo, no one could say that. And I was like, we've been saying it for weeks. Like, you can't say it now. I was like, who's going to stop me from saying it? Give me an example. Give me a, give, give me a give me scenario. an example. Yeah, I don't even know, man. Like I, I can't remember. Like G- give me one time anymore. you got detention. Like like a funny like a funny time you got detention. I can't even tell you, bro. Honestly, like a dumb thing you did to get you detention. All right, I got you. Fine. I actually do remember this one actually. So. My friend, he was talking about this girl, and she has, like, really, like, her chest is really big, right? Since, like, the third grade. She just always had big boobs. So, we're in middle school, sixth grade. You know, like, everyone, like, every, like, school sits in their own, like, section to, like, Mm -hmm. seventh grade, eighth grade. So, we're, like, we're all chilling there. And he's, like, yo, her boobs probably fake or, like, implants or shit. I'm here, like, ha, 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 ha. And then, like... Um, I think like somebody heard him or some shit, and she's like, "Yo, who 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 said that?" And then, um, he's like, "Oh shit!" Da, 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 I got scared, right? And then he's like, and then like they told like the teacher, 
And then a teacher came over and was like, who said it? And then he's like, oh, shit. And then everyone's just not talking. And I'm here just chilling. And then um, he's like, I feel like I said, like, oh, he said it. <laughs> you know, like I, I was like, bro, he said it. And then, and then like, the teacher's like, what? And then he's like, yo, my birthday's coming up. And then he convinced, and then like I was like, "Don't worry." Like he didn't convince me. I I just said, "Sure, I'll take the blame," because I always get in trouble, right? As you know, I always get in trouble. So um, I was like, "Okay, cool." So then I took the blame for it, and that's how I got detention. And my mom was like, "Are you dead ass?" And then I was like, "Yeah, like he couldn't have his birthday party, so like I just lied for him, and everyone hated me." <laughs> and at one point, I I was like, "Yo, I can't take this anymore." And then I was like, "Yo, he said it." And then his um his sibling was like he would never and he and then he just sat there and sat and then I was like yeah and I was like okay All right. <laughs> <laughs> sixth grade bro taking blows already let's go right now but yeah bro that shit was crazy and I got to go to the birthday party so I mean I I was going already because that's like my boy but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man my mom was always just like why why would he do this and I was just like. Uh, he man. wouldn't be able to have his birthday party. Yeah, yeah. man. Took Fuck one it. for the team. The greater it, good. Yeah, man. It is what it is. I, re- I remember getting detention once from asking too many questions. That sucks. Yeah. Were they good questions? I mean, every question. Could you be annoyed with That's it? that. Wait, yeah. yeah, I was yeah. Being <laughs> Why? Very Why? fucked hearted with it. The Why? thing is, I hated the fuck out of this one teacher, right? I, it made me hate chemistry. She, she sucked. <laughs> she just. She was about to be retiring. Like, she was about to retire, like, in a year. So she was just bitter, old, and hated kids. Mm. Yeah. And she wanted to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> so she didn't care how she treated you. Like, she hated me. I hated her. It was mutual. We got it. Um, so I continued the rest of the year to be as annoying as possible to her. And during one of the, uh, like school test exam things, I just kept raising my hand and asking very obvious questions about every single question, pretty much. Like I would like do one question or like I would get to a question on the test and then raise my hand, ask for help. And then they would walk away, and then five minutes later, I'd raise my hand. They'd come over, and they would think I'm at, like, the end of the page or something. No, I'm on question two. And (laughs) it got to the point that, yeah, she kind of picked up that I just didn't care about the test because I ended up just not doing the rest of it. I just kind of was like, yeah, I don't want to do it. I'm going to just bullshit you the whole time. Fuck you. (laughs) Uh, and then I remember getting detention once in gym because my gym teacher thought I flipped her off. Really? She thought you flipped. Yeah. Oh my god, bro! I have. Yeah. So I I wish I could name drop, but I'll be respectful there. <laughs> but this dumb bitch. Um, <laughs> oh no! Wait, what episode is this? <laughs> forty one. Yeah, forty. Yeah, forty one. Forty one. Gotta check out forty one. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that dumb sack of a human being, um, she, I was standing in my roll spot at least, but she wanted me to be sitting down. Mm-hmm. I was, my, my back and stuff was sore, like, I was, like, in pain, and I just kind of wanted to stand, like, I felt mm-hmm. better standing, and I was like, hey, I'm in, like, I was like, I'm just gonna stand, uh, it feels good, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I was like, I'd rather just stand. Like, I was ready to, to do gym. Like, I wasn't just trying to, like, sit out or anything. I was in my roll spot. And she was like, sit down, sit down. And I'm like, but do I really have to? Like, why? And she's like, sit down, sit down. Are you going to go to the office? I'm like, really? Is it that big of an issue? Yeah. And, There's not a lot of kids like that, man. And, yeah, she kept saying sit down. And I was like, I, dude. Like, and she didn't even give me a chance to be like, oh fuck it whatever and sit down she was like just go to the office Mm -hmm. i was like okay you could have just explained exactly why you wanted me to sit down like i get it like other people are sitting down but i'm not Mm -hmm. fucking hurt now like i'm ready to do gym like (laughs) in like high school some people stand and some people sit and some people even lay down yeah, some Mm -hmm. people don't even do gym yeah Yeah, but this this is where i get written up she was just going to send me to the office and then I maybe would have not get, gotten written up. I may have just would have talked to them and they get, like gave me a warning and I would have left. But 
I was just kind of like fed up with it and I was annoyed and I was like, oh, fuck, like whatever. And I threw my hands up to the side. Like, I like literally, like, I gave up. I was like, she fuck, you did whatever. This. Yeah, she literally <laughs> thought I flipped her off <laughs> times two. <laughs> Not hey, just once. Wait, what grade? This, uh, fuck, Elementary sophomore school? year? Oh, high school. Yeah, this is high That's school. even better. <laughs> yeah, this is like sophomore, oh maybe is junior year. And I actually. I get sent to the office and I get sent to the vice principal's office and I'm talking to the vice principal. I'm like, yo, like I get it. Like I'm in your office a lot, but like this time I, I ain't do it. This you time. know me. Like I'm not going to just flip off a teacher. I just skip class and do dumb shit like that. Like I'm not going to flip off a teacher. Mm-hmm. And she believed me. I was like, wow, cool. Like, I wasn't expecting that at all. She believed me. And then I, my schedule got changed that year. And I was no longer in that gym class. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. And then okay. she got ran up. That dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> End of the story. Dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, to sum that up. No, yeah. Um, for me, like, some gym shit, actually. Damn, that's funny that you bring that up. Uh, I got in trouble in elementary school. Remember the baseball field behind Edison High? I mean, Washington School. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that baseball field, like, all like lining up there, and I'm in the back of the line, just doing some Michael Jackson moves, right? And I don't even like Michael Jackson. I swear to God, I don't like Michael Jackson. Why am I? Am I dancing like 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 Michael Jackson right now, or or, or then? I don't know, right? But I was dancing like him, and then I grabbed my crotch and I did his little, you know, his little ooh. <laughs> the teacher was pregnant and she was just like she said she felt some type of way and then I like harassed her or some shit cause she thought I was grabbing my nuts at her low like <sighs> true story if my mom was here she would, would be like nah dead ass cause that was a whole problem <laughs> literally <laughs> literally let me call her now <laughs> <laughs> mom <laughs> tell the story she starts talking about what log on nah yeah Oh, yeah, bro. Pregnant lady, right? <laughs> She's feeling so much. <laughs> <Never know. laughs> Don't do that. I don't feel this in some some type of way. It's crazy, bro. Dude. Oh man. Pregnant ladies, am I right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, yo, have you guys seen any like any like movies lately? Like, have you guys been watching movies? Um, like, more like TV show. Brandon has a rant about this. Oh, no. <laughs> We've been seeing too many movies without him. Oh, shit. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Hey, man, you gotta watch them what by do yourself you... now. <laughs> yeah, like, we saw this movie Parasite last night. Where? It was pretty good. Yeah. Have you ever seen That's it? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty yeah. cool movie. Yeah, is I it think a, you would enjoy is it. it. Like, is it like Centipede by any chance? Uh, no. No? no. Thank God. Okay. I've never seen that. I just heard it's humans, butts, and faces. <laughs> so oh, that's human. You're talking about human sense of being? Yeah, human sense of being. You've never watched them? Hell no. You should. I will not. Yeah, that's an yeah. experience. Thank you. I won't watch it. Imagine watching it oh, off acid or shrooms. No. Or both. <laughs> Has anyone done that? Both. Did acid and shrooms? Acid? I never heard a story like that before. Ever. Can we like Google that shit? scary. Can we? Please. Has anybody, <laughs> has anybody done the acid yes. and shrooms yeah. at the same time? That sounds insane. You like you should just die after that, okay? Or like peyote and like weed, or peyote and uh, acid. Fuck that! You'll fucking sh- like shatter your brain. That ass. That's insane. I never like heard of anything like that. I don't know. It has to be a thing. Come on. Nice one, Reddit. This was this, <laughs> these are where you get the good stories. <laughs> People that's done it. Like document it for other people to read and what <laughs> what to expect. What fucking corny shit? It's called a hippie trip. Fucking whatever. I feel like it's no matter what, it's a hippie trip. What? Uh, this person right here. Uh, but let's see. Uh, yeah, so F it, man. It's called I a hippie mean. trip. If I remember correctly, I did it once and had a good experience. However, I I had regular helpings of mushies and acid i've never microdosed like i said though it's definitely an interesting trip i remember planning to stay home that night and trip alone my friend called me right after i took them and told me to go over to our other friend's house so i did we ended up playing super smash on 64 and we were laughing the whole time 
I was very talkative and energetic. Good memory of a good trip. Well, that was bullshit. Noise. Yeah, noise. Noise. <laughs> noise, dead ass. Like, what the fuck? Thanks for the information, bro. Like, cool story. Well, I guess we'll never really know how I'd really be feeling. Because huh. I'll never do that. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, Jedi flipping. <laughs> Mix shrooms, acid, and molly. And molly. Jeez, wow, wow, the trifecta. <laughs> the tri- Dude, look at that. It's in a fucking triangle, too. <laughs> in his palm of his hand, everyone. You probably could feel all that in the palm of your hand. Jedi yeah, flipping can be fun and transcendent, but also overwhelming and risky. Here are some harm reduction techniques if you're planning a flip. <laughs> wow. It, it's like we're going into Inception or some shit. Dude, honestly, I was like, going. There are many reasons why people choose to experiment with psychedelics. Some do it for fun. Fuck you. I want <laughs> Jedi flipping. Jedi flipping is the, the popular name for mixing MDMA, ecstasy, LSD, acid, and psilocybin magic mushrooms. Uh, a melange? I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. I, was, I was going to wear my hoodie that says psychedelic on it, too. I couldn't, I couldn't find it. I was like, oh, wait, where is it? That only psychedelic daredevils. Do you guys consider yourself a psychedelic daredevil? Hell no. Nah. Maybe I would if I get just, really rich. I would just, I'm just a casual user. I wonder what like. About it, I wonder what level you have to hit to like do like. Does an achievement pop over your head like you get that high like <laughs> daredevil status? Like you probably see different things though. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah, you know the the last time I I had uh, done mushrooms, I thing. actually had. The for the first time I had it during a trip where I actually saw like geometric shapes. Yeah. Yeah, like like I, I was looking at this wall here, and literally like the whole thing just kind of turned into almost what you would like if you were staring at a tapestry. That's yeah. what my whole wall kind of turned into. Wow. Wait, what? Off of what? Mushrooms. Looking? Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> so like coming off trips like do you ever have like psychosis and shit like that um like, like do, you have, do you like have you ever experienced any episode of that or is like a part um when you mean like when you say that do you mean like kind of like like just don't feel like so, in like, reality almost yeah, like i just, just like feel times, like in a fog yeah. um because, like, you did acid for Matt. Wait, can we talk about this on, on like, the podcast? Yeah, talk about whatever you want. Yeah. This, this mm-hmm. dude, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, you, I'm open, you, I'm open about doing psychedelics and stuff. Yeah, because, like, so guys, I, I don't the guy. talking about it. He's the guy. Dude, go to school for, like, for, like psych, man. And be like, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wanted to go to school for psych so I could have one room full of, like, people on shrooms and, like, one mm-hmm. room not. But have, like, the same, like, sound vibrations tones everything and just see if one room just needed to be like just open and just in a good like vibe and like what the shrooms actually do to people in like in like a good setting just being chill you should give the other group that's like you should give them like a placebo no exactly yeah yeah regular mushroom yeah yeah, exactly yeah yeah bro yeah and then like like the other room would have actual Mm. shrooms yeah wow exactly that dude junior year of high school i was like yeah i'm taking psych and so doing it sociology (laughs) And then, and then I was like, oh, psych is like an art degree? Never mind, I'll just do art. <laughs> so, yeah. Low key, like, all you gotta do is just read, man. It's like, literally think. Research. Just read and think, man. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you know, I was uh, the typical kind of rebellious, like, fuck school kind of teenager all for most of my life yeah. uh the typical like i don't want to read a book i want to play video games like that shit Skate and then i then kind of had a breakthrough <laughs> at some point and it was kind of recent too like only like two three years ago where i was like you know what like let me start reading again like yeah, i even like stopped reading comic books and stuff like um and i started getting a couple books and one book in particular i actually got while i was with these two guys here uh, when we went to Maine, and I got that uh, Norse mythology Neil Gaiman book, um, and that kind of sparked my interest in reading again and kind of like delving into like interesting things, like how I like like I said the Norse mythology, like learning about that stuff, kind of 
not reading like news articles and headlines that I always do every week for the podcast, kind of just kind of get out of out of realm and stuff. I've been reading and listening to podcasts about the Olmecs, like an ancient culture, like a true like the the Olmecs. uh, They they were before the Aztecs and the Mayans, and the Mayans had translated the name the Olmecs to the rubber people because they're the first like civilization, like the first people to uh, uh, harvest rubber from rubber trees and turn them into rubber balls. Um, and they believe, like, historians and archaeologists, archaeologists believe that they potentially use these rubber balls for uh, sacrificial sports. Uh-huh. Um, so they would put two two teams against each other. The losing team would be put up for human sacrifice and shit. shit. Yeah, so the... It, it goes to show like how long sports and it's it, it was played kind of just like soccer too it, they were only able to use their feet and they would have to get it to the other side the other side of the field the enemy side and get it across a certain point um do you guys <clears> think you guys can like play that shit like right now like so I'm like do it <laughs> that specific game um, no nah, that'd playing. be pretty scary but like yeah. it's like playing it back then like too much mm. at stake <laughs> Like my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, back then, though, like, do you think, like, that's something doable, like, you guys could even do? I guess if like, I was in that time yeah, period? Like, do you think you could, like, yeah. It'd probably be a game for fun, but then they'd probably turn it into, like, a blood sport. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I wonder, like, if everybody is, like, training, like, Dragon Ball style. Like, how everybody in the show is training to be, be a mixed martial artist, you or know. Or just to fight. Like, <laughs> like Yeah, like, just to be able to fight and be yeah. able to throw a punch. Maybe was that the same lifestyle they lived? Was this sport, like, they oh. the thing that they all trained for year-round for these big sacrificial tournaments? It's probably just, like. It's probably just like um, Skyrim. You know what I'm saying? Choose their own path. Yeah. Mm. They choose their own class. A sport. Dude, I'm always play. a Khajiit. Khajiit is a cat guy. Say you again? A Khajiit, I think it's pronounced. No? A Khajiit? I, I think I know the word you're saying. Damn. Butchering my favorite character. Race. I always wanted to be like Red Guards. And that's, and that's, um, that's me. Black. <laughs> <laughs> and then Nords, um, they're like a telecommunications company. <laughs> um, I think there's an H in the name. Yes, sir. So, the Nords is funny as hell. Like the Nords are oh like, yeah, are like, the cat people. The 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 Nords are actually like white people, right? And they have like, I think like. Oh, yeah, they get no cold damage, basically. So, like, meaning, like, they can, like, run around in snow with, like, no, like, clothes on and shit. Like, oh, and not actually get cold and die. And <laughs> I'm sitting here like, huh. And then, like, if you're a red guard, a black person, you're, like, really strong and fast. I'm like, come on, bro. This is hilarious. And then a Khajiit, like, they could, uh, um, they have night vision because they're cats. And there's lizard people. Uh, yeah, have you guys ever played Skyrim before? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Lizard person. That, so why the fuck are you not talking about it with me? Come on, let's talk about Skyrim. <laughs> it's been so what? Long. Skyrim was my shit, bro. Mm. That game I'll never forget. I played Fallout way more than Skyrim. Really? Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. I made Antonio oh, no. in Skyrim. Yeah, yeah, you wow. did make me in Skyrim. It's a trend. You'll see soon on the YouTube what? channel when I release uh, some Elden Ring footage. Uh, people like making me in video games. It's re- very easy to make me in video games. It is weird though. To make you what? To make me like you know like how you can get into a game and customize your character yeah. for certain games. Like it's very easy to make me in a game. Oh, uh, why? How? Just, I don't yeah. Know. Okay. yeah, apparently yeah. his character model is is in a lot of games. Like the typical, you know, the beard like that and. The, the hair. I'll pass it down and then we bring it back around. <laughs> okay, so uh, J- Josh just handed us uh, one of his portrait books. First one, one <laughs> copy, one of one, only mine. No one else's. Uh, <laughs> is there like a certain order you went about putting these photos in here? Or yeah. was it just kind of like you just slapped them in here? 
just slapped him in there like a fat slappy Joe, slappy Joe, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, man. Uh, I wanted to make a photo book, so I was like, all right, Google custom photo books. <laughs> and then I just found this spot, and I was like, sick. And then I start like, there's a there's a, like another photo book that I really like. And so I was looking at like how I could like play around with like framing up the photos in like the book, like size and just like layering photos together, the color backgrounds and yeah, stuff like that basically. But it's like all of the photos I took since 2018 all the way up to 2020. So like some are film and some are port- um, digital and yeah. And uh, the people you took photos of are these um, just people that wanted photos, or do uh, that, is there any people of significance in this book, like everything, like artists, man, like artists life. or anything, just or just life. people? It's people, okay. models, artists, side models, just that, that everyone, literally. Some of those photos are on my IG, so it's just cool to see. Them both yeah, I, I did see a couple yeah. people that I know throughout the book. Yeah, so like. But I'm making a personal book soon, like a real book that people could buy. It's going to be on Amazon. I'm going to try to put it in stores. Mm, but, cool. Maybe maybe like right before you're releasing that, we'll have you back on the yeah, podcast. Man, be cool. I'll be a whole different person. Right. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, man. That's gonna yeah, be it'll cool. be cool to see. And then, like I said, I have more like con- con- conceptual, sorry, photography coming. So it's like more like story-based things. So... Can you move the mic a little bit closer to you? It's more like story-based things. So like, that's going to be more exciting. Just because I can finally, like, kind of like, it's kind of like filmmaking, but it's like a still, like I said before. So, mm. like, now I can just finally just make a quick image and not worry about the huge-ass process of, like, audio. And then, like, is the lighting good, like, throughout the whole movie? Is there continuity? Is everyone happy on set? Like, let's just focus on this one image. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just make everyone feel everything in this one image. That's what was uh, what was your last big project you did? My last big project. Yeah. She. <laughs> you know, man. Mm. Prom, prom, and indecisive. Those were the two like videos that I was like, holy shit. But like, yeah, those are my two last. Big, big projects. So that was um, both music videos and both different concepts. One was shot in Philly. The other one was shot in Brooklyn. I think Bushwick. Some shit like that. Yeah. Where, where was Indecisive shot? Indecisive was mm. shot in Brooklyn. Okay, cool. And Prom was shot in South Philly. Was and uh, Indecisive, that's uh, your one friend, uh, uh, Dante, right? <laughs> Yeah, Dante. Mm-hmm. Dante and uh, Blake. Yeah. Okay. And Those then, guys are cool. And then the other one, Prom? What, who Prom did that? was shot with James. Okay. James, yeah. Would you want to show either one of them on the podcast? What? What? Would you want to show one of them on the podcast? Like, like one of the songs? Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. Um... Why not? I feel prom, like that'd be a cool way to end off the podcast. Prom is actually never will be found on on the internet. It's just like I just have like the video. Okay, so yeah. I guess I'm looking so up indecisive. indecisive. Yeah, is it on YouTube? I think so. Yeah, the video's on YouTube. Yeah. Um. Yo, actually, go on my Instagram. Oh, I, I see it. No, just because like if you're gonna play play the video. The better quality videos on my Instagram. If you click like my mm-hmm. link and stuff, yeah, he literally uploaded the video, 4K video. I saw the video in four hours, bro. We had like six hours of not capping. We had like a couple hours in like the studio, and I shot the whole video within like four hours. And the end, like the model came an hour plus late, so I had to shoot all her scenes too. And each, I'm not gonna tell you like what the backdrops are, but like. We had to keep, like, moving them around, basically, type shit. So, like, just, like, get the scene going. So, like, it was just so much. And I was I was the only one shooting and looking at, like, the shot list to make sure everything was going well. So like And, like, directing their movements. Like, imagine having one person 
making sure everything's like going aligned. Another person in camera focusing that like everything's good. And then another person directing the moving. I had to do like all three at, at once. And also make people stop laughing and like fucking around when Man. they're bored. Yeah, like, the whole director and shit. Dude, yeah, it's fucking tiring sometimes. Like literally like people be like people be like, yo, like just relax. Like, you can't let it relax. It's like, you like get a t- job time is money, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like the girl came late and I was just like, fuck it. And then everyone was just trying to talk to him. I'm like, listen, after. <laughs> you know but um nah on my actual instagram this is not this one right here no nah, but like the video though like type in frames by i was trying to right there and then click the link this yes i, I know you guys hate links here i know website films you want to plug your website really quick? <laughs> JoshuaNiama.net. Yes, sir. So if anybody wants to go check out his website, go right there. Everything's on there, guys. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So, click uh, films. Oh, like it, there's like a drop down, and then yeah. Well, music videos, my guy. <laughs> music videos. Oh, on top. geez. <laughs> it was in caps, so I thought it was like a header. Scroll, <laughs> scroll down. Right there. Right here. Oh, yeah, problems right there, too. Fucking, look at that. Which one do you want to show? You want to do indecisive or you want to... What do you guys want to watch? Indecisive or problems? Yeah, do you guys want to pick one? Indecisive is more fun, like, like bright colors, jokey. I'm and, indecisive right now. And prom... <laughs> yeah, <so laughs> indecisive. And prom is more, like, like dark. We, like, they, like, steal a girl and they put her in, in, inside a trunk. They punch a guy in the face. It's more gritty, and they're ski mask, and they're literally going to prom, and yeah, and indecisive about a girl who is indecisive about two guys, but the, but but the guys are in 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 indecisive about her, but in reality, like I was trying to be funny about the song because they're talking about how like they're confused about a girl, but but the girl is confused about them, so it's like that's how like our age group is right now. No one's really serious, and everyone's hurt and scared. And that's the whole visual. So, so like, so like the visual is different from like the song. So like you're hearing two, like you're hearing something, but like you're seeing something else. Just okay. like communication. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> it's crazy, man, <laughs> how that works. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's that video. But yeah, let's watch that one, man. I feel like exactly. you guys would like prom, but like, this is more like pump, just like just chill vibes. You could talk over this low key prom, like you actually like. It's more like filmic. It's more like a film. Well, this is just chill vibes. That's Amaya. Amaya's a. I think she's signed now by a m- modeling agency. Oh, she wow. got into Pop Smoke's music video, um, oh, wow. 24K Gold, or whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. Pretty cool. And uh, now, the dude right there, Dante, he's, he's not, uh, he doesn't do music Dante, anymore? Dante, bro, he doesn't do music anymore, man. He just writes, he says, but Dante, he's like a bodybuilder, basically. Yeah, he's I a fitness trainer. He's just, he's just big. He's just yeah. Aki. Like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it is interesting to see how people's interests can shift. Yeah, you know? I can. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, hey, as long as you're happy doing what you're doing, you know. Facts. Maybe he'll make a comeback. You know? <laughs> Maybe he'll get built enough and he'll be like, eh, I'm, I'm done with this. And then he'll be like, coming out of retirement. So... With all the visuals, was this mostly This was like you? my simplest visual, but lighting wise, it was probably one like funnest thing to light because it was in a small studio. So we had like one aperture, we, we closed down each like backdrop, um, we closed out each like window. So like, it's like a dark ass like room basically. Mm-hmm. And we use uh, one reflector, so like light above them. A 
reflector to bounce so like there's no like shadows underneath underneath their eyes and then on the right side like this like the wall was kind of dark on like the right side so we so we got a white like board and we bounced it with with light so it kind of fills yeah, in that side right, yeah. yeah and that was like that was like funnest thing i ever did i was like yeah <laughs> crafting light <laughs> Let's now, go. Who pitched the idea for the imagery of this? Me, like, bro. When, when, so like, <laughs> you came to them and you were like, "This." this oh, is we're what just I'm chilling, bro. We're just chilling, and you talking were just about like, shit, bouncing ideas yeah. back and forth. That's cool. That's how. That's how we come up, come up with a lot of things. You know, yeah. that's, I think that's the best natural, most organic way to come up with. Yeah, like, bro. Content. He did ask. Was like, bro, I need this girl, bro. I need this girl. And then I was like, bro, she followed me like a couple days ago. He's like, what? I was <laughs> like, yeah, I think so. I haven't. Yeah, he's like, yo, we need to get her. And then, like, we just, like, I, like, we started talking and we vibed. And then she did this, like, video. And then we did a photo shoot after. Yeah, that was dope. That's pretty cool. But this video was probably, like, the most, like, fastest video I ever shot. I shot all this in one day. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But, the, like, the one thing I do like about this, like, video is that I feel like you could play it in, like, a store. And you could just have it going on, and like you could like 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 glance at it. Mm -hmm. I I don't really feel like it's a video that like you would like want to like like watch very long. And be like oh my god, yes. But I feel like if you're just casually walking around a store or like in like a like art show, it could definitely just be planning. Yeah, this is awesome, this, like indie it, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like I I have a playlist that's like very kind of chill lo-fi stuff. Yeah, that, like this would fit in there perfectly. If you just need something in the background while you're working or something, then Facts. this is definitely the vibe for that. And the ending, he's like, wait, what? Damn, you talking to both of us, bro? Like, like, what do you mean? She's like, oh shit, I can't handle this. He walks out, pops out, we in a studio? What? She, she closes the door and that's the last shot and we didn't do another take because we had to leave right after that shit <laughs> i just packed up and i did not see this fucking shot i was like let's go home because we have to like literally like they're banging on the door like yo we're next but yeah that's the whole video how long sick. did the editing process take you said it took a day to record how long did it take to like edit it and put all put all this together uh it takes me a week to edit honestly <laughs> like two weeks two weeks max to like really like look everything over and then, like, the third week, I'm not editing. I'm just watching the video. Mm. And if I'm using, like, outsiders, like, third-party people um, who, who could, like, edit my shit for me, like, special effects. Like, that text bubble was not for me. It was, like, by this girl that shot with Boz and Nike and stuff like that. She actually edited my video, which is sick. Mm, cool. Shout out to you. Forgot your name, but it's in the video. <laughs> and, um, yeah, um, I sent it to her, and she did, like, text effect. I'm like, thank God. And... Yeah, so it took us like two weeks max, honestly. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty cool. Not going to lie, you guys kind of got me spiced up. Can we watch prom? I, I kind of want to show them more? prom. Yeah. kind of want to show them prom. That's going to go back to it. Shift, control, whatever, T, whatever that thing is called. I forgot. Keybinds and shit. <laughs> Jedi Yo, if you guys watch the podcast religiously or on and off, you guys are the OGs. Time stamped. You guys are OGs. Hell yeah. Because literally, I remember when Antonio and I went to go get pizza and he was just like, just like vibing. He was just like, bro, I'm just trying to like, just like feel better. And this man found his own like niche, his own wave. Literally. Anyone could do their own shit. It's fucking sick. <laughs> it's sick, man. <laughs> like seeing you do like your own shit right now is fucking dope. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. I'm, yeah, I'm happy we get to kind of just do us, you know? Yeah. Man. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people now try to do whatever they can to get an easy click or easy couple thousand yeah. views and stuff. And I'm not here to really impress. You yeah. Know? I just want to put guys like you on, on the spot, you know, right. show some love to fellow artists in New Jersey and have right. fun with my friends and record videos and shit. That's what I've wanted to do fucking since I could remember, you know, once my consciousness came into existence. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, right? Yeah. Sometimes yeah, it just comes out. But, uh, yeah, we got one more for you guys. This is a uh, prom. Uh, no, this one full screens. That's cool. 
They all full screen, my dude. The other one didn't. Cat. I was clicking it. Yeah. It full screen. That's why I just left it. It kind of looked better that way. It, it was cool. It, it worked okay. fine. So, so yeah, what's cool is that I'm shooting a band soon too. Oh really? Yes. That's like, cool. I shot a band from Norway recently. I didn't direct that. I just shot it. I was the I was the DP, so that was really fun. But I'm shooting like a whole apps like rock band from Jersey. Yeah, so that's gonna be fucking sick. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And like their whole like they came to me with the whole idea with like the mood board already, like the shot list already. So like we just had like piece it together basically and changed it up. So I was like their their idea though was crazy. And this video we shot this shit at literally nighttime in Philly. Like I left Philly at five o'clock in the morning. Got home at seven and eight in the morning. Took nap in my car and then went inside my house and fell asleep. And then <laughs> Next weekend, the same. I think show. I remember you texting me around this time. Really? Yeah, I think I I remember trying to get a hold of you, and then you like text me later on. You're like, yeah, I got, I just got back from Philly. Like, so. <laughs> bro, it was crazy. The whole team was lit. Shooting this was a great, great time. But I got this DP now who um. Who shoots for me basically and I like just direct I help him as much as I can so like I'll like AC for him I'll gaff for him if he needs it um, cause like you know like we're all like making a visual together you know so like, I'll do whatever so like but his camera setup and his camera lenses is so crazy and just like with the visuals that we have in mind like, I just can't wait to drop those shits in like his camera feels like it was like my photographs, literally. Like that's how I can just like describe it. It's a perfect mix. It's always cool when you find another like person, another artist or something that your work and their work kind of yeah. like, work together. That's why I'm very happy. Brains. That's why I'm happy with the artists that we have and the animator that we have for No Side because like our communication, how we work together goes so well. I get like when I'm pitching the idea for the artwork, like he captures it perfectly. Like it's not like I'm asking the dude to revise everything every all the time. Like right. yeah, we got some we got get some good synergy. That's the word I was looking right. for. Yeah, exactly. Got the little like fonts on the bottom of the screen in yellow with different like a different font style because that's my favorite. Good. You had some great basic fun. Oh, I like this. I actually walked across the camera. All of all of my videos starting from here, I'm um, being Spike Lee, literally. No, sorry, Stanley. <laughs> like I'm literally going to be like I'm going to introduce myself in every video. That is cool, I could I know Quentin Tarantino yeah. does something yeah, yeah, yeah. similar to that with Every his movies. Music video I'm doing, I'm gonna be like either like a background actor or I'm gonna be like talking to like the like artist type shit or just uh, just in the video somehow. And it's funny because back in the day my nickname was Nemo. So like if people really know me, it's like you're finding Nemo, literally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah within that's cool. Moody that's clever. Within Moody Motion Pictures. That's the production team and name. So yeah, and you can uh, follow Moody Motion Pictures over on Instagram as well. It's Moody underscore MP. Yes, Moody yeah. underscore MP, Moody Motion Pictures. I'm shooting a Norwegian artist actually um, next month um, in New York. And we're going to be shooting on a rooftop, and that's going to be one of the f one of the productions for Moody Motion Pictures. Yeah, here's yeah. the uh, here's the account Moody underscore MP on Instagram. And we in New York, we in New Jersey, we in PA I'll boys. Once more, his uh, other account, frames by underscore Joshua frames on Instagram. By underscore Joshua. Um, and since we're plugging, I guess uh, you guys over there, if you guys want to give your socials really quick, and then we'll uh, start wrapping things up. Follow me at bmendoza127 on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram at Jovi's 3D Minis. Word. So it's been a very fun podcast. It's been a pleasure having you on, man. Real quick, I have a question. What do you guys think about the videos, though? 
They were dope, yo. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, nice directing. Man. Thanks, I'm man. Positive, Is there like, nah, come on, like, you guys be talking about mad video stuff, like, like tell me, like, yeah, you guys haven't been talking there. much. Talk more. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, put them on the spot. Yeah, boys. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's cool. I uh, I don't know a lot about directing, but I know that not like visually as yeah, just like about, a person that's just. I'm like, gonna say um, I know a lot of people who try to do directing or shooting shit, right? And they don't come out as looking as good as the shit you did. Where? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because right. a lot of people, they try to do it, but you could tell they half-ass shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> they just trying shit and they just want to put it out there. But True. I could tell that with you, you actually put time and effort and yeah. you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. you. You try to perfect your craft and I know that within time, you're just going to get even better. Yeah. Like, right, like, fucking... With all the shit you're doing right now, you can you can only go up, you know. Facts, facts. It's like I th- I feel like frames by Joshua it feels like a lifestyle. It feels like just who I am, and then the other page is more like what the whole projects are like video wise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like even that like people haven't seen anything because I'm just like no side of here. We crafting in the dark right now. We in the turtle show. Yeah. <laughs> We're not coming out yet. We in yeah. the back cave. Yeah, dead yeah. ass. <laughs> back Cooking cave. shit up. No, yeah. But thank you for that, man. Yeah, no so, problem, yeah. bro. But yeah, I'm going to Tony do his thing. But peace out, guys. It was uh, nice being here. Yeah, dude. And yeah. like I said before, pleasure having you on. You know, you and Thanks, me go man. way back pretty much since the beginning of our creative journeys. Beginning of time. You we guys were each know. there at our beginnings. So yes. it's cool to see us now and kind of in our f- not full form, but. Nah, bro. This is like, I feel like I'm second. Like, what's that Charger? It's like Charger and like the second version of Charger. Uh, Charm- Charmeleon. Charmeleon. Oh, I'm Charmeleon yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. With like little flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, feel that. Hard ass cool. charge, right? <laughs> yeah. You're just getting up there, yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're all growing, and it's gonna be cool to see where we are in another year. Yeah, and uh, ten years, and so on and so forth. Mentally there, though. Always. How many years yeah. have you been doing this, Josh? How many years? Yeah. I don't even know, bro. Uh, seriously though, like seriously taking pictures. Um, I'm gonna say two years because I've been shooting film for two years. So like, film was really when I started taking like photography seriously. And then video wise, like um, four years, five years, yeah, you, I think five. You're gonna continue with this as long as you can. Yeah, I think so. Like, I I don't think I could actually just stop. Yeah. Like, I literally right, can't. Yeah. Like, is- like I said, it's not something. Like, if I don't like, for example, this kid still haven't gave me my film back. That's mm-hmm. another fucking story. <laughs> We're gonna end the podcast soon. But like, yeah. Um, and literally, like, when I don't get my like. Like, when I can't see my film photos for a long period of time that I know I shot or, like, I'm waiting too long um, or, like, I haven't shot anything, like, I literally feel sick. I'm like, bruh, fuck. <laughs> like, I don't feel, feel like I'm growing or, or, like, doing anything. Like, I could go to work, but if I go to work and not shoot, I'm dying. If I'm not thinking about a concept, I feel like I'm dying. Like, I just feel like... You, you want to just get your creativity out there. Yeah, I literally. Understand. And just be respected, bro. And like, if I could eat off it, cool. Like, who wants? Who don't want to eat off something that they love doing? Yeah. And like, I also have conversations. Like, literally, bro, I would love to be, like, to the point where like I could go back and be like, yo, like I want to go to Edison High and talk about being a creative. Because I think you went there too, right? Mm-hmm. Did you go there? Yes. Yeah. You went to Edison High too? Yeah. Oh we're, my we're god, guys, this mm-hmm. is a whole podcast full of Edison High kids. Yeah. Fuck yeah! No, that's dope as hell. Yeah. That is so crazy. Dude, no side, man. holy shit. Yeah, man. So, like, I forgot the hell I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah. So, like, <laughs> I would love to go back there and just be like, yo, like, it's okay to think you're fucking different or normal or, or different. Different is normal, bro, because everyone's fucking different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, literally just, like, just do whatever, man. And that's just what, what I wish I, like, I just told myself that. Just, like, just tell kids, like, literally, mm-hmm. like, you could do, like, whatever you want. Like, if you're trying to, like, fucking draw, just draw. Especially if you're nice at drawing. But, like, you just hide it. There's some, yo, there's some great artists that just be hiding their shit and they never come out because they're just too scared. And it's like, yo, you're nice. Stop. If you could go back and <clears throat> start what, you, you, what you've what you been doing two years ago earlier, would you do it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I would wish I had someone that could tell me like, yo, this camera is better than this one. (laughs) Yo, maybe you should get more lighting before you get even a camera and just play with light inside like your room type shit. And just figure out shapes and like and like whatever like you could do. Cause my ass was like, Yeah, I'm gonna get cameras <laughs> or like I just didn't know like what to get first. So yeah. it was just like trial and error. When you first started, did you go in there blind, like not knowing what to get, or did you like do your research on like cameras and shit and progressively get better and did my research but also like low key bro it was like, trial and error. Trial and error heavy, but low key like it doesn't matter what camera it is. I could probably match quality on almost any camera, literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about. It's like what, like, like literally, like what shot, um, I, like every shot has a purpose. It has a meaning behind it, right? Because mm. they're trying to give a person a feeling. So I was like, if I'm doing a shot of a person like, like talking and they're talking for a really long time and like they're saying sh- like like a certain word, I'm gonna do a different camera movement and if i'm shooting like a scene that's like more like gritty i'm probably gonna use like a shittier camera i'm probably have like the iso like really like really high so like it's more like jittery and stuff like that and yeah so i feel like if you could like figure out what scene you're shooting and like what is the tension behind the scene doesn't matter what gear you use you just make sure it's really intentional like guys low-key he's back what film was that, Antonio? Wait, say again. He's back. He's back. Yes, he's back. A film that we made. He, this dude got me to make a horror film with him. Literally, of just him coming back to make like um, videos on YouTube, gaming videos. Oh, yes, yeah. we made that shit all in oh, one day. <laughs> whoa! I for fucking god about that. That thing. was like a little wow. like weird horror film we made. Yeah, like a, like a B horror movie. Like yeah, a little short film. It was like the most shittiest. Like, like we try to make it shitty as possible. Yeah, like, but with but both quality. It's weird, but yeah. Yeah, Sick. tell me. I mean, I still work like that a little bit. It's like I like kind of a slight shitty quality to it, but with that's love. just your style, though. But like, you're getting better at it. Like, you're yeah. crafting it. You're crafting it. Yeah, more. like it's a weird way to put it. Like yeah. shitty quality. Like, does that mean Dude, you're bad? But my, it's it's. I just have a certain way of doing things. No, yeah, I get that. I get that completely. Like my friend um, Phil, he literally he's like, I I, I want to make fashion clothes where like I could like. Where, like, it looks like you're, like, a, like a hipster, but, like, you could be homeless, but you're, like, rich at the same time. Like, I want to make outfits like that. And he literally figured out a way to do it. That is my goal. And, dude, just look like you're chilling, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just look comfy. Like, I can have racks on me, but you don't know. Yeah. Like, you know? But, like, he has, like, oh, let me not even talk about his shoe idea. I can't wait to show you guys that one day. I'm going to be shooting it. But, like, um, yeah. I can't. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about it. But, like, yeah, it's just so cool yeah. to be part of that. Yeah, see, already we're going to have to have you back on soon. Yeah, bro. Because Sorry we, that we, we ain't talking we, this much now, guys. Yeah, totally. whatever. Next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll have to have you back yeah. on soon again. Um, I guess really quick, since uh, to just end off on a nice lighthearted mood as well. Um, really quickly, let's go around. If you can go back to your 16-year-old self, what is one thing Ooh. you would tell yourself? Josh, you go first. Damn, why me first? I, I just thought. <laughs> All right. Shit. What would I tell myself? All right. Um, stop doubting yourself. Literally. I think that's good. Yeah. yeah. Stop yeah. doubting yourself and stack that. Don't take bread. his answer. Give me something else each of you. Go for it. <laughs> hey. Just do it. Go for it. That's the same thing, but different. Um, <laughs> uh, if I could tell my 16-year-old self something. Because that's almost 10 years ago. I would tell them... Don't... Ah, fuck. It's a hard question. It is. It Mm. it really is hard. Antonio. I'd say cherish the moment, but don't dwell on it. Dude... That's beautiful. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That's nice. That's a nice one. No, for real. Because yeah. some that's how like you get traumatized thinking about like something too long. And like you get stuck in that time. Mm-hmm. And you don't grow. And when mm-hmm. you do grow, everyone's already past. You're like, wait, well, fuck. Yeah, because that's the you're pressure. so caught up in the past. Yeah. You, get, you forget about what's ahead of you. Yeah. Uh, what's in, in the present. Damn. Yeah. Beautiful. I that's guess. another deep combo. Next time. <laughs> 
And I guess uh, for me, if I had to go back and say something to myself, my 16-year-old self, um, love yourself. That's a great one for you. Holy shit. I fuck with that. Yes. Yeah. If you guys know Antonio, you know Antonio. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I felt that. Yeah, this has been a nice podcast. Dude, are you guys selling these stickers? Uh, not yet. Yeah, these are prototypes. Oh, so shit. these oh, are like sh- limited sh- editions. Sh- sh- Mine now. I think we mentioned. I think we mentioned it just recently about like stickers and stuff. I think the last one maybe. Yeah, we yeah, it yeah. Up. You have, you have. All right. Did you give him copy the uh, the no side underscore podcast the Instagram one? No, we only had like two of those. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah, only yeah. two left. Two of yeah. two. So you know what? Because Holy shit, I'm I gave him, it's you, so I'll give you one because I know you'll make Damn. good use of it. I was going to give you my one. camera. I gave them to, to some people and they've been putting them around. Mm, I know Giovanni did recently. Mm, and uh, yeah. yeah, so place that wherever you think is, is wise, wherever you think is worthy. Um, you'll see it on the IGs one day. Right yeah. I'm, I'm going to be like this. <laughs> 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 just slap it on the wall and just tag you guys. Oh, man. There's two in New York. Oh, shit. Damn, I got I gotta go somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> some cool. One in Harlem and one in uh, somewhere else. Oh, bye. do Philly? I think Brooklyn I, or I Manhattan. Kinda, Manhattan. I kind of want to near Times Square. Mm. One's near Times Square and one's in Harlem. That's one cool. on Wall Street. I kind of want to do it. I didn't like do it. A... I just want to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. it was it me? I kind of want to put it at like a cool event you know what i'm saying where people are always going or like a popular restaurant in. yeah try you gotta do it yeah, somewhere yeah, there yeah, i wanted yeah. to do it at central park but i couldn't find a good spot because yeah. you gotta be careful because if you put it somewhere it could be traces vandalism yeah you know what i yeah. mean because they could trace it back and to just you. take mm. it off all yeah mm. you know what i'm saying yeah that's what i'm yeah. saying i didn't do it i handed them out to people they mm. told me where they put them I, feel I saw it. I'm just aware of the locations, but I'm not going to go out of my way and fucking peel them off. Fuck yeah, I don't this. know exactly <laughs> where they are. You know what I'm saying? Shit, fuck yeah. it. But yeah, talking about all these socials, make sure to go follow at no side underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Share, and share with at least one person. Yes, yeah. that, that, that is the goal for until next week. I, if When you guys come back next week for the next podcast, you better have shared it to one person. And we've been saying this to... The, because we were talking about it earlier in the podcast, uh, the people like overseas, you know, in Qatar and shit. In mm-hmm. Qatar, share it with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. man, grow in it. Qatar. Uh, share <laughs> it, share it with somebody from another foreign land. I want to see that Qatar you know I mean? number go up to two percent. That'd be crazy. That'd be sick, yeah, literally, no. I'd fucking lose my mind. Shout out Qatar, bro. <laughs> Fuck, oh, that's one percent, guys. Literally. Yeah, and then uh, you guys I guess- have one now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I guess the last sh- bit of social that I gotta plug really quick is just mine at ant underscore underscore farm and uh, Brandon. Thanks. Your final words. Also, shout out to the ladies. Let's get that percentage back up to fifty one. Yeah, <laughs> Come on, ladies. ladies, what y'all doing? Woo-hoo. Yeah, so share it to uh, your grandmas, your moms, your aunts. Yeah, <laughs> your mama's mama, your mama's mama's mama. I feel like there's like a part in this like series of like the podcast where. Brandon's like your grandma, your mom, like somewhere you made a joke. <laughs> <Yeah. like that." laughs> He's not playing, ladies, bro. Come y'all, on. y'all, we wouldn't be here without y'all. Sugar mama's on deck. <laughs> For real. <laughs> All oh right. man, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> the that, music is fading in, and our voices, voices will begin out. to fade out. Oh my God. We love all of you. Have a good night. We will see you next week, Josh. It was a pleather, ple- pleasure having a you on. Lincoln bio to go buy some prints. <laughs> we love you guys. Have a good night. And goodbye. Bye.